All right, I think that's where I split the video up. In my head. So hello, welcome back. I'm still in the woods. I'm leaving, I'm continuing on exactly where I left off in the last video. I'm stepping over a bunch of branches here from a fallen tree. I talked in the last video about mental health and mental illness and discussing difficult topics. And I think I want to continue talking more just about my own mental health and what's going on in my life because I, that was what I was originally planning to do when I did these in my head things and it hasn't panned out so I need to get back onto that. Well this is very confusing. I came out of the woods, actually came out over there and this is like a basketball course picnic kind of area. I'm not familiar with where I am and I don't want to take chances getting stuck in the woods. All right, so what's going on in my life? I've got this web series thing that I'm working on. I have written, oh, here comes like a whole bunch of kids to use the court. Let me stop. Okay, I got confused. I thought they were coming to use the court. They were like running towards me, but they were actually playing a game in an opposite court at the top of the hill. I couldn't see that it was a court. Anyway, what's going on? I'm doing this web series. I have written five of the character bios or six of the character bios. I think I have eight or nine characters and it's challenging because I am not sorry for the sky thing, I forget. Um, it's challenging because I'm not a writer, I'm not an actor, this is all new to me and that's okay. I'm gonna go through with it anyway, even though it scares the crap out of me. My biggest fear is that I don't represent a mental illness well or it appears too much like I'm stereotyping, which I'm trying not to do, but when you're talking about one person, there's only so much you can do. And now I know what the people who made these Netflix shows went through <laughs> because it's not easy. Oh boy, how am I gonna get around here without bumping into these kids because they're, the field they're playing in is huge. All right, well for now, I'm just gonna keep walking and talking. So I can only do so much and like the people at Netflix, I'll just have to live or die by the way that I portray these people, but know that I'm going to try to portray them well, that I'm going to try to explore these mental health topics, uh, mental illness topics, as carefully as I can. And that's really the best I can do, you know? And if it gets people talking, then I think there's a benefit to that. Hopefully it doesn't harm people. That's not something that I intend to do. I kind of know where I am. I'm in the middle circle here, so... I'm probably going to walk the roadway and talk to you as I do that. I guess I'm at the end of it. You're supposed to kind of like jog and use the exercise equipment. Over here you see there's a bar here. I don't know what the heck you're supposed to use this stuff for. Do I look like I'm in shape? Uh, probably not. But I see there's like a ladder situation going on over here as well. I guess they all explain what you're supposed to do at each station. Okay, so I am... Um... Dealing with writing, which is very uncomfortable for me. It's not something that I'm used to doing. However, this is part of life, growing and learning and dealing with people who criticize you, dealing with hurting people, because hurting people is part of life, um, and dealing with the consequences. So that is my major, major like goal and my challenge lately as far as that goes. You see, it is dark. I know it doesn't show so well on the camera. I think I'm just going to apply like a darkness filter to this entire thing that I'm doing here so that you see it the way that I see it. All right, so over here we have some kind of seesaw thing, balance beam, I guess. Back to me. That's what we're really here for, right? To talk about my mental health. So. The last time I talked about my mental health, I said that I wanted to do this about monthly and I'm going to try to commit to that maybe more frequently depending on um, what I have available for the channel. There's a big poll here. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with the poll. And so um, last time I talked with you, I was talking about how I had some suicidal ideation and I... Uh, I had financial issues. I still have financial issues. I will probably continue have the, having them for a long time. Um, I wound up taking money out of my retirement account, which is not very large, but it took enough out to give me a short break from that anxiety because anybody who's gone through financial hardship knows it is frightening. It's difficult. 
And my current thing is that I do not want to get a job because it will take away time from being able to do this. And this is my passion. I'm kind of betting the, my hand here on this YouTube thing and creating a community of people who understand what I'm about and enjoy what I'm about and maybe would like to help me in creating it. So I already have a few people over on my Patreon account who I'm very grateful for. Let me talk to you. Hello, people from Patreon. I am grateful for you. And as I continue to do this uh, web series, I will put up more behind the scenes stuff over there. Uh, currently, I put up the names of the characters just preliminarily because that's pretty much all I have. I don't want to give everything away to Patreon because then what's the surprise for you guys? I want there to still be a surprise, but I would like to give you some stuff to keep you excited. So if you're somebody who wants to help support me in this journey of creating this web series, let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about with this web series. It's meant to be people with mental illness who they are struggling, obviously, with things in their lives like we all do. And they get together in like a group therapy kind of a session. And they also have individual sessions and they will be like confessional, kind of like um, reality TV style confessional situations where they're talking to the camera and they're talking about the other people in the therapy and talking about their own lives and I thought just having people talking candidly like that you know I'm not so comfortable always talking about what is going on in my life I know a lot of people don't always express what's going on in their heads and they'll only save that for therapy but if I create characters then they're not real people and I don't have to worry so much about that but it can show people what it's like to be a human being and what it's like to have these fears and these things that we don't talk about and these difficulties that everybody faces. And so that's my plan for this web series. And if you want to support me in creating that, I am buying costumes. I am spending money to do it as I usually do on this channel. When I try to do something big, I try to throw some money at it to make it more exciting, more enjoyable for, for you. Um, becoming a patron will help me big time with that. And I appreciate all my patrons that are out there already. Thank you so much for being patrons. I will put the link up here and check it out if you're interested. These are push-up bars. It's getting like super dark here now. All right, so my mental health. My mental health kind of like fluctuates day to day. You know, sometimes I'll have these days where it feels like everything is crashing down on me and I'm never going to get anywhere. This typically happens when I think about money and specific. These are some pull-up bars. Uh, when it comes to money, that has always been a crux of mine for my entire life. I've always had difficulty when it came to money. So when that issue comes about, then I start getting the suicidal ideation, then I start freaking out. And part of that is because I've had a lot of, um, well, I've had traumatic events with authority figures, but I've also had situations, here's some monkey bars, situations uh, in workplaces where I was made to feel powerless. Uh, I felt like when I voiced myself, it didn't matter. I felt like I was doing more work than other people and it wasn't being recognized. And I'm not saying this in a narcissistic way. I, and this is multiple jobs that I'm talking about. So if somebody knows me, don't think it's like one specific situation here, but I've been through multiple job situations where I was at my wit's end, suicidal ideation, feeling horrible, generalized anxiety, and there was no leeway, which is okay. I understand. I have a business myself. I know what it's like to need to meet goals, meet those objectives that a company needs to meet in order to survive. However, there was no humanity in the way that people discuss things with me. Very often things were not even discussed with me and decisions were made without my voice being a part of it, which I don't think that's a good way to run a business, period. And so when money becomes an issue, it's like buried in my psyche. And of course, you know, I have done what I can to resolve some of that. But I've just kind of learned for me as a person, I don't know what this hole is all about here. I saw this coming in. Uh, for me as a person, I just need to see that's kind of creepy, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't go anywhere though. For me as a person, I function best on my own. I am the most goal directed when I set my own goals. I have the most passion, the most excitement for things when I do it on my own. And hopefully that's interesting to you. 
I'm realizing as I'm talking like, okay, some people are not gonna give a crap about this at all. But this is about my mental health and that's, it's relevant to my mental health because it's a struggle that I go through all the time. Seven days a week, I am thinking about YouTube and my business and what are my plans? What am I trying to achieve here? How can I make money off of it so that I don't just drain myself of money, which has been going on for months now. All right, sorry for the poor lighting. I made it to my car and it's just more comfortable to be in the car anyway than walking outside in the parking lot. So um, that's my situation as far as mental health. Seven days a week, I am working on this that you're watching here um, and learning. There's a lot to learn to YouTube. It's not as simple as it seems if you want to actually make it on YouTube. Um, let's talk about that quickly because this is something that just happened the other day. There are periods on YouTube where I get very frustrated because I'm trying to build something here. I'm trying to get people engaged and excited about what I'm doing. And I get disheartened because I look at other people who have started around the same time I have and I actually started about one year ago. It doesn't say that in the about section because I st opened this channel a long time ago, but I started the videos um a long time ago and also i deleted a whole bunch of videos and re-uploaded them so it may not reflect on my video section but i promise you around this time is when i started this channel and i i look at other people who started around the same time as me and they have more subscribers they get more views and when i judge them because i judge like any human being judges i judge what they're doing and i say like well why did they have why are they popular like i don't really get it because they're they're not engaging to me. They're not doing anything exciting to me. I'm not learning anything from them. I don't feel like they're my friend when I watch their videos. So I'm like, why? Why? Why have they gotten more popular than me? And that can get really frustrating. Um, it's just something that happens every now and then. I don't compare myself all the time. Of course, I never advocate for people to compare themselves to other people. That's just a uh, a dangerous path to go down because there could be all kinds of different reasons why and we'll never necessarily know them. But I also struggle, business things aside, with not having people who I feel like understand my experience and what I'm going through. And again, this is not in a narcissistic way, it's just I feel lonely. Like I feel like I don't know a lot of YouTubers that are um, trying to accomplish things the same way that I am necessarily. I know a lot of people get on YouTube just to kind of like vent and of course they love having a community but they're not trying to do it the same way that I am strategically and make a business out of it because believe me I put a lot of thought into this. Maybe they're more successful because they don't. I don't know but for me I put a lot of um, thought into it and I'm constantly asking the friends that I do have like well what why is this not working or why do you think this isn't happening and what can I do better here what can I do here and a lot of times the answer is I don't know and they also can't really relate to what I'm going through because they're not doing the same thing that I'm doing so it's very lonely on this kind of entrepreneurial journey even if you do know other people who are from YouTube they have a different approach sometimes discussing mental health topics in general a lot of people don't know what I'm talking about when I use terms or if I try to ask somebody they're just not interested they just don't care about mental health the same way that I do and so it's exciting to me to upload a video and when you actually comment I know I don't always get to the comments right away but it's exciting to me to see that other people actually care about these things and other people get it because when I talk to friends some of them yes they to some extent they do the best they can to understand and entertain my passion but they don't have the same passion that i do and they don't have this same vision that i have for what i'm doing for my my channel here and so i get lonely i get sad and then when i get lonely and sad and i feel like i don't have people that i can talk to then i start to think about like well what about a significant other i don't have a significant other now i haven't even been with somebody in over a year now and that's another thing that i get very frustrated on i could do an entire huge video on that and maybe i'll do that and save that for the next video i don't see anybody who who would who i'm interested in who i feel like i could connect with and that's hard it's okay because I've lived on my own for a long time here. I I know how to be in the world by myself, but I also need to challenge myself with something else that I'm learning. And this is why I started going out to do these videos because I'm starting to like realize about myself. If I don't push myself to go out and do things, I'm never gonna do anything because I can't sit around and wait for the people who are already in my life to enjoy the things that I enjoy. 
And so if they don't want to do the things that I want to do, if they don't want to talk about the things that I want to do, I have, that's on me. I have to go out and find people who want to do it. And if I can't find people who want to do it, I just got to do it. So I, um, I kind of have been trying to commit to this lately that I'm going to just do the things that I want to do. Do the things that seem interesting to me. I don't want to force shoehorn myself and force myself into a crowd of people that I don't feel like is going to fit. So this is something else that I'm kind of going through and learning as I go. And it is stressful. It does bring up social anxiety in, what, in me when I think about doing some of these things. But I've been pressing through it and I've been gradually learning. And I'm trying to take advantage while the weather is still good here to be able to go out and try new things. I think we should talk about gay relationships maybe in the next one because again especially with gay relationships I feel incredibly alone. I feel like nobody gets what I'm going through and I know that's not true. I know there are other people out there but I think we I should talk about that um and the reason I'm talking about this stuff is because I want you to get to know me because I think my channel has been boring for people over this past year. You know, I'm learning and I I've put a lot of like reference material out there, but I don't think I've introduced you to who I am and my struggles and not that I'm, again, I'm, this is my third time saying it and I'm aware of that in this video, not that I'm narcissistic, but I... I know that people enjoy getting to know other people. I know that I watch YouTubers when they give me a little bit about their life and they talk about what's going on with them and they take me places with them. And so I want to do that here on this channel as well and not just be somebody parroting information to you. So if there's anything, I, I, I kind of went all over the place in this video. If there's something that you would like to comment, if you like the direction I'm taking things in, uh, anything that I've had to say, would you be more interested in learning about uh, a gay relationship, let me know. And if you're interested in what I've done so far here, if you like mental health, if this is your first video, this may not have been the best uh, video to represent my channel, but thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more, hit subscribe. I have over 200, I'm approaching 250 videos actually on mental health. The people who are out there, I do see your comments. I know who my regulars are. I appreciate you. I don't say your names because I feel like that's kind of inappropriate without asking you. Um, Although, if that's something you guys would like me to do, let me know in the comments as well. But thanks again for being here with me. I'm going to head home, and I will see you soon. Take care.